Hello again, everybody. We're back and um, a bit of a wholesome dinner tonight. Um, sun setting here. We're going to make this and have this for our dinner. Now, it is a kitchuri. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, and um, it's so the kitchuris are basically based on a mixture of two grains. Um, well, we've got one grain, a rice, and we've got some lentils here. And it's a sort of real, like, feel good, like, you know, tummy satisfying, sort of happy tummy type, like, <laughs> spice sort of you sound, you sound like an advert of Rack, you know. They say happy, happy <laughs> tummies. Happy tummies. <laughs> so this is apparently, comes back from the um, Ayurveda, I think that's how you say it, Ayurveda, not Darth Vader. Um, yoga principle mm -hmm. um, of um, it's meant to be detoxifying food. We need that at the moment, Libs. <laughs> do a we? A little bit. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is start by uh, just slicing an onion. So what have we got here? We've got um, an onion. We've got a couple of cloves of garlic. And we've got um, a little bit of fresh ginger. We've got a chilli. Uh, we've got some lentils, some basmati rice. Um, some cumin, coriander, chilli, turmeric, spinach, uh, spinach, tomatoes, tomatoes um, really yummy, and about 800 mils of veggie stock. Obviously, I'll put all the ingredients on. Um, and uh, we're going to make my newfound um, sort of bread thing, actually, which is chapatis to go with it. I hadn't made chapatis until I tried them for this video, and um, well, obviously, I'd eaten them, but not actually cooked them. And uh, they're so easy and so satisfying to make. So uh, we're going to make some nice chapatis. What I'm going to do at the moment is just finely slice these onions. And I do need to slice my knives. Not slice my knives. <laughs> Drop Dear me. Sharpen my knives, yes. Anyway, can I just say I have... Um, really enjoyed all the message I've had from everybody. Facebook messages, Insta messages, um, photos of you making what we're making. Mum, saying Insta instead of Instagram doesn't make you sound more cool. <laughs> In down with the kids. She always does it. Okay. On Insta. Uh, Instagram. Just posted on Insta. Facebook. Oh, like, um, Instagram. No, but ignore my daughter. Thank you for all your lovely messages and photos. Um, you know, all over the world. Um, a feel good feeling, thank you. I you're gonna cry then. <laughs> I was about to be like, no, blame it on the onion. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh. I'm just gonna get this onion. I'm cooking away, got my favorite pan out, my feel good pan. Um, nice glug of oil, nice glug of oil. Look, I've expanded. I've got light olive oil and dark olive oil. Oh, there you go. Another one she's stolen from Teresco. <laughs> yeah, all rose, all rose. <laughs> Um, now we want to cook these for about ten minutes. Okay, we want we want to get some uh, softness in, but we want some colour in too. Um, the colour brings out the sweetness in the onions and gives a really nice base. So this is um, yeah, just delicious flavours um, and super super good for you. So I've um, I've crushed um, most of my garlic. Uh, just to remind you, peel the garlic, cut them in half as we call it across the equator, and then just squish it down. I find it easier to hold the or use a garlic crusher if you're normal. <laughs> I've been um, begging mum to get us a garlic crush for so they're long. They're like them, Libby. They waste the garlic. It's awkward to wash. It doesn't if you pick it out, like, after okay, you anyway, squished it. When you get back to the last bit, just go like that. Okay. Um, ginger. Got a bit of fresh ginger. Top tip. Peel it with a spoon. Ooh, that's good in the eye. That's not very pleasant. Um, and then just grate that. Love blessed off. Like that. And then we've got a fresh chilli, doesn't matter whether it's red or green, um, just snip the top off, down the middle, scrape out the seeds, unless you want the real hit of the heat, but we've got some other spices going in as well. And mum's a wuss. <laughs> and I'm a wuss for spice, yeah. And then down into some little slices. Always cut chilies inside out. Outside in is really hard. Inside out is much easier. And across with some little... Got some lovely golden onions. Thanks to Libby, who's been staring. And then we're going to put in our ginger garlic chilli. 
important to just cook those flavours out a little bit. Super important um, to cook out your um, spices because um, you'll just get so much more flavour. So we're going to put in two teaspoons of coriander. Whoops, two of cumin. Now if you don't have these, if you've got garam masala, that will work. And if you haven't got any of them, then absolutely no problem just to use some curry powder. A um, couple of teaspoons of turmeric. I hate these old packets. Yeah. And then one to two teaspoons of chilli. This is a particularly hot one. So I'm just going to put one teaspoon in. I'm going to put some salt in too. And I'm going to put another glug of oil. And just cook that so all those glorious flavours begin to come out. So I've got 85 grams of basmati and um, 130 of red lentils. Um, pop those into a sieve and give them a really good wash. Because what we're going to do is get rid of all... If you have a look at the water that's coming out, you can see it. It's really cloudy. And that means we're going to wash a lot of that starch off. So we don't have a sort of gloopy rice pudding mixture. We have something where um, the grains are a bit more separate. So this is so good for you. So many veggie proteins. Um, we're going to put loads of spinach, tomatoes. Um, it's a good sort of like TV supper. Yeah. What, we're, what's we're the watching... series we're watching at the moment? Oh my gosh, Unforgotten. It's on Netflix. And um, this is the third series. We love it. But we might have to honour our pro. And she's got a documentary on tonight about her daughter who was adopted from Cambodia. Oh, yeah. And as we all know, we love her. Mum and we, her are BFFs. We BFFs absolutely love pro. Hello, Prue. Loved your Easter bonnet, Mum, by Prue's the way. always going to watch this. Well, she might be. Prue, if you're watching this, leave a comment. <laughs> what are we doing now? With a tiger. Uh-uh. Um, so, back to reality. Um, in all of those lentils and the rice, etc., etc., goes in. Turning yum. Give that a little bit of a, a stir. What's your beverage tonight then, Libby? Well, I actually haven't got one because previous to filming this, I don't know if any people have seen, but there's this thing going around where you down a pint in honour of boredom. And um, well, just did that before I filmed this. So you're lucky it's my straight, filming is actually going pretty frankly. well, considering. You have, to be fair, also done the 5K for £5. Yeah. For the NHS. Yeah. So. And your best mate, Nancy, or one of your best mates, Nancy. She did them both. She finished a 5K and then down a pint. So I actually think that's the most commendable out of all of us. But So that was my beverage. But I might have some water. So I've got some wine in a minute. <laughs> that's what I thought. Anyway, I'm going to just wash it over here. Shrush, shrush. Get my shrush, shrush. That's a 300 mils of stock. Uh, 800 mils. So 800 mils of stock. And where I got 300 from. Okay. So I'm going to pop this in. I've got veggie. You could use chicken, but this is a bit of a great, well, I don't great sort of cleansing. We know you don't eat meat. I know, right? but I'm just saying that's why we're doing it. Okay. No, 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 no. But also it's a good cleansy veggie dish. Okay. Now it looks pretty grim at the moment. I'll give you that. However, trust me. Trust so me. So you're going to leave that to bubble. So, chapatis. Um, loving this new recipe. So I've got 140 grams of whole wheat flour and 140 grams of plain flour with a teaspoon of salt in there. Now, if you don't have the whole wheat, don't worry, just use plain flour. Which is what we used last week. Yeah, but you don't right, need right. um, strong bread flour for this because you don't want to rise, you just want them to be flat. Now, also get yourself some nice uh, warming water and um, we're going to crack into this. So, First things first, get a table on and um, give those all mixed together. Make yourself a little well in the bottom and then we want, what's well, two tablespoons, but for me two good squirts of oil. And then you simply want to add enough water to just make a sort of sticky dough. So the sort of consistency as you would for your regular bread. 
and just keep adding it gradually. Um, difficult for me to say how much, to be honest. The Alternatively, you could just go buy a naan, but it's quite satisfying making, and they are I mean, absolutely well, A, gorgeous. we shouldn't be going out at the moment. But if you're going to the shops, you could buy a naan. Need to, but I don't know, this is just... I'm it just... is, they are so good. And I tell you what we have, it. we have it with mango chutney and all my days. I, I, it, is, it is just a great recipe. Absolutely lush. I'm going to um, be... Sorry if you can hear talking. And um, mum's fiance is on a work call, so um, needs must. We're loving being all together, aren't we, Liz? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got to say, just so impressed, particularly for me, how you young people are coping, because it's pretty tough being stuck you, in You, <laughs> you, 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 no, you're all right. Whoa, I thought you were going to just show <laughs> you were just going to push that on. Right, so, um, a little bit sticky, okay, but not wet and not too dry. And even though it's not a bread with yeast or strong flour, I am going to knead it. Uh, because even plain flour has um, some gluten in it. So we just want to get it just a little bit more chewy than if I cooked it like this. Now, I'm going to aim not to lose my plaster. So I don't have any blue plasters here. I've got about 10,000 in a cookery school. Um, so V, stretch, pull back, stretch, pull back. Now it's breaking because it's not strong red flour, okay? But just go with it for, again, about eight minutes. So we're going to get the cheese on, do a bit of eating. Just keep going. Um, just to say, whilst, um, yeah, earlier I had a good good chat with AJ, and um, obviously pending when lockdown's lifted and how everybody is, we are, at the moment, planning for the cookery school to have a big opening again in style in August, hoping that... Lots of you who are on staycation and not travelling abroad will um, come and visit us. But we'll keep you posted. Um, we've got loads of fabulous courses planned for August. If we can bring it forward, we can. If we have to push it back, we can. Um, but we're, you know, true school cookery, it's about keeping the cost low and keeping the quality high. And um, I think we're all going to need a bit of affordability at the end of this. So, um yeah, super hoping you'll come and um And we have wine. We, <laughs> we always have wine and bubbles. Yeah. yeah. And music. And, and sometimes I'm there as well, so I mean really you can't say no. I know, come and meet the, the the face behind the camera. I will appear in another one soon, but I just can't really be bothered to wash my hair. I haven't baked hand in about three weeks, lost on the eyelashes. <laughs> I just look a bit of a mess. Out, I know. Out. So, I mean, I'm not myself, but potentially I might just... Yeah, no, well, I have been kind of persuaded to come this side of the camera again. We'll see, we'll see. Mum's going to carry on with this. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So, this is looking much... Right, so, what I want to do now is... Is this the same amount that we made last time? Yeah, chop this into 10. So, um, obviously, it really doesn't have to be Ooh. exact. FYI, I have found an oven cleaner. Haven't got around to cleaning the oven yet. I don't think it looks that dirty, to be honest, oh, but my oven at uni is foul. Right, so, um, we want to just make these into some little balls. Mm -hmm. Then, we're going to roll them pretty much as thin as we can go so that was a bad start <laughs> <laughs> you need to make sure the rolling pin is well floured work top two and get these out nice and thin really is paper thin. Paper thin. You can almost see through. <laughs> right, um, what I want now is my big frying pan. My big bent frying pan. And I want to get it super hot. Oh, that's why we did add a bit more water to the... Yes, yeah, so if you come over here, um, so this came to the boil, and uh, when you add a little bit more water, you can see all the rice and lentils are beginning to swell up. But we're going to put spinach, fresh spinach and tomatoes in, so that's going to add a lot of water too. So just keep it at that lovely, gentle simmer. We're going to heat that pan super hot. 
gonna add the tomatoes and spinach to the uh, kitchuri. Now, it's 150 grams of cherry tomatoes, but it's what we've got at the minute. So I've got a few cherry, a couple of big ones. Uh, absolutely, if you don't have this, just can of, can of tomatoes would work too. Uh, fresh is better because you don't want too much sort of tomato um, juice in it. So just chop these up into some little uh, squares and then um, 80, 100, 120 grams of fresh spinach. Um, if you haven't got any fresh spinach, if you've got some frozen in your freezer, then I'd go four to five blocks of um, frozen spinach would be good too. And we're just going to add them in a minute, are we? Yep, I'm going to pop those in, just chop them up and then I'll um, show you it all going in. So we're just going to whoosh in the tomatoes. Pop in the spinach. It is pre-washed, don't fret. Give it a little mix, pop the lid on, turn the heat down and let it just cook out now for about another 10 minutes. It is looking a bit dry because it should be quite a, a sort of porridgey, soupy texture. Just add a little bit more stuff. But I just wanted to show you this. So super hot. And then we're going to do all of them and then... In it goes. And you want to wait. No oil, okay? So super dry pan. It's beginning to bubble slightly. And you want to wait. So you want to wait till it's sort of schmucking and then flip it over. So you've got those slightly singed bits. So simple. Why did I not make these before? I don't know. You used to, you also make really only flatbread. Ah, yes. Do you know this next week with a tahini bean dip and a roasted beetroot dip? Wow. So um, looking that forward to that one. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm going to keep the bread thing going once a week, actually, because, you know, bread is great. Yeah, and it's so easy. Yeah, so, so, so easy. Right, okay, so there we go. Perfect chapati. So, glorious sort of porridge consistency. Is that chewy? I'm going to put a nice big dollop in a bowl. You see the tomatoes and the spinach of cooks right down. Just such comfort food. Do try this. It's it's beautifully delicately spiced. Um, we're going to go all out vegan tonight. A nice blob of aqua yogurt, which is actually really yummy. It's so good. Um, good dollop of mango chutney. Mango chutney on top. And then one of these yummy homemade chutneys.